The government has set out five tests that must be met before we begin to adjust social distancing measures. One of the most important tests is the rate of infection. We have to make sure this is decreasing. All viruses, like normal flu, have a rate of infection. Scientists call this R. R is the average number of people one infected person passes a virus onto. To beat coronavirus, we need to keep R as low as we possibly can. Imagine 100 people are all infected. If R is more than one, then those 100 people will infect more than 100 people and in turn, they will infect even more. The virus is spreading quickly. If R is less than one, those 100 people will infect fewer than 100 people and in turn, they will infect even fewer. The rate of infection is slowing down and coming under control. Scientists around the world have been tracking the R of coronavirus since the start of the outbreak. In March, at its peak, R was around 3, which seems to be the natural rate for this virus. Since then, thanks to you and the social distancing measures you followed, we've been able to reduce R, and it is now below 1. But we've only just passed the peak of the virus and it's vital R stays below one. Over the coming weeks and months, the government will be monitoring R very carefully. It will be a key factor in how social distancing measures are used in the future.